the lady on the front row knew the song. She was mouthing the the lyrics to me. <laughs> I was like, I'm stuck. I can't do this. I don't know what I'm doing. So I can see the smoky mountains from my front porch swing. Why is Barn Bash special to you? Let's go. Yeah. Why is it special to you? Um, it's special to me because it's like a family reunion. Yeah. Yeah. I don't go on the road as often as you do, obviously. And so oftentimes it is the one time a year I get to see some of these fans that have become friends over the years. Mm -hmm. um, it's hard to call them fans, isn't it? It is hard to because, call them fans because they've been around for yeah, years. Yeah, they, they just they support us and love us so yeah. much. So we travel all over the world, all over the country, and... Um, so many of these uh, wonderful people come to our so many of our concerts mm -hmm. and um, they've supported us throughout the years and a lot of those people are people who come to barn bash Definitely. and as well as we have new people every always, single always year always new too. faces too and, but there's some um, that are just and the we, core what we always, always get there. is that it feels like a family they've reunion. shown up to a family reunion mm -hmm. so it's pretty great um i will say that i have to give lori credit for uh, for coming up with the idea. Because we did our first video here in the barn um, in 2010. That was the like first that. barn bash. Oh, it was? So it was before 2008. Yeah. 2008 was our first video. It was a Christmas video. I think it was Christmas with David Phelps and Oh Holy Night. We mm -hmm. did two mm -hmm. here. That and that was when it was in the round there. And um, so we did that. We renovated the old barn and because we were looking for... I was looking for a theater that we hadn't been in before, and and you were like, uh, why don't you redo the barn? Which I think you were just trying to get me to redo the barn. I wanted so, a party barn, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> but, but so we redid the barn and did the video, and then it sat empty for years. two years. Yep. And uh, you were like, we have this great place. Let's let's do a you a know a here. special yeah. thing for you can do a concert and let's do it. Labor Day was open, and so. Uh, it was all her idea, and it has turned into... It's been a lot of fun. It's, it's just a magical time. you know. It's, as much work that it is for us and for work. all of our friends <laughs> that are volunteers and for the community that feeds mm -hmm. into it, as much work that it is, every year we're like, wow, that was just uh, kind of... It was a moment with a family and friends and, and a spiritual kind of gathering, too. And so mm -hmm. it's it's been pretty great. So... I want y'all to talk to me about your volunteers. I want you to tell me a little bit about, let's start with how how did that idea initially come to you? Obviously you need help to start Barn Bash. Definitely. We, with the very beginning, we definitely needed help. And we went to our friends and our family, our small group at church, people we knew in the community. Um, and it mainly was you know, our tribe that we did life with, you know, and mm -hmm. then friends of friends because we couldn't do it all ourselves. We needed yeah. people. Those beginning days, we had however many buses it took to get everyone down and we had a point person on every bus that kind of led them through the process of getting here and was their welcome face, the first face they saw to welcome them to the event. And that was all just friends and family and, yeah. you know, people... That we did life with from church. And, and you know what? We were floored. At every event, we were like, wow, look at all these people showing up to help. Yeah. That they believe in this, you know, and yeah. want to be a part, of, be a it part and, of it and give up their time. It was uh, Because it was strictly volunteer. I mean, we feed them, but other than that, it's their volunteer, their time, and their talents. What, you know, some people were decorating for the event. Some people were building things for the event. Sweeping so, the floor. Sweeping, yeah. It, you know. Anything that needed to be done, people were doing voluntarily. Yeah. So it's it's been amazing. Yeah, it has been. So yeah. how did how has that evolved over the years from going to your friends and church members and things like that to growing the volunteer base we have now? It's still a lot of so, the same. Yeah. Um, we have had some friend fans that have become friends over the years that have stepped in because they're like I'm going to be here anyway and I want to mm -hmm. help. Um so yeah. That that has really been a blessing. But it's been the same basic. But it's basically it's still the same, still the same that, people. You know, there's you know. been a few because of life situations people that have had to leave 
or, you know, people that come in and come out, they may not be here every event, but they're here when they can be. But yeah. it's still a lot of the same core people. So it hasn't changed a whole lot in 10 years, which is amazing because it's a lot of work. It is. <laughs> it's a whole lot of work. But they seem to love it and keep coming back. And we're grateful. <laughs> Most definitely. So tell me a little bit about the community of Cullioga and how they have gotten involved. It's our little Mayberry is what I like to say. It it's just a small little... For the volunteer fire department down the road and they bring a fire engine and uh, uh, people that uh, help us with safety at ev to every event we have. Mm -hmm. and the they sheriff's department and handles the traffic at the yeah. road and, um, you know, the the uh, we, we try to in turn send... Uh, sends traffic to the couple of area restaurants, you know, that are yes, around here. Yes, definitely. There's just two little small restaurants here in Kalioka, um, yeah. and they have gotten very involved because they believe in what we do. And mm -hmm. during the year, we're just David and Lori that live down the road and come into the restaurant. You know, <laughs> that's that's just what we we do. Mm -hmm. Where that's just our family goes down to eat, and then when all these wonderful fans come in, um, they really go the extra mile these restaurants to yeah. be friendly to our friends so yeah they're amazing it's been great so yeah the whole community has just been fantastic i yes. mean i'm just before just unbelievable before people were parking at the farm they were parking at the school because the principal was a friend and the school's a mile away so yeah. he let people park at the school mm -hmm. parking lot and mm -hmm. everyone's just jumped in to to help so it's been great I want you to tell me some of your favorite memories from Barn Bash's past. You know, we're we're pretty loose at Barn Bash too. Yeah. And that is always a, yeah. Home. Yeah, I get yeah. to walk, you know, up to my house and go to sleep after a concert. That's pretty great. But um and if you mess up a lyric. <laughs> Oh my goodness! That's a joke because he always messes up lyrics. I do, at but I, rem I will not forget that one year, and I was exhausted. We had worked so hard, you know, thing, and I got up on stage to sing mine. Mm -hmm. um, I think you started it three times, maybe. I started it three times, and I was fine. The lady on the front row knew the song. She was mouthing the the lyrics to me. <laughs> I was like, I'm stuck. I can't do this. I don't know what I'm doing. So. Finally, I got it, and we moved on. But uh, that took a while to live down. You know, I think I, out on the road, someone said something about that uh, for, during the next year or so. Uh -huh. uh, but that's, that happens. It does. 